Welcome guys, Hackmods here with a um, Kali Linux installation into a virtual box on the Windows 7 host. Okay, first off select the um, in virtual disk manager, select the top left hand corner to enter Kali to enter a new virtual machine. Select Linux or other, select um, Linux 64 bit other, select next. Select OK. Kali. I already have this installed on my hard drive, so um, I'll call it Kali Linux. Okay, select Next. Okay, next up we've got to select the virtual um, memory size. So I'll give it 3 gigabytes, which is 3074 megabytes. Next, select um, Create New, Virtual Disk Image and um, set a, a base um, allocation of 20 gigabytes click create okay now go to settings okay on settings go to advanced select bi-directional for both shared clipboard and drop and drag select um, show at the top okay next go to system tab Go to um, Hardware UTC and then select Floppy, uncheck it, s s send it down to the bottom. Select Hard Drive, set it to the top. Go to Processor, set a processor of between 1 and 4. Okay, go to Acceleration, make sure that's both ticked. And um, go to Display, check 3D Acceleration and give it a memory, um, uh, a visual memory of at least 96 to 256 megabytes. Okay, next go to Storage, go to the empty IDE controller. Go to the disk on the right hand side and select the ISO for Kali from the download in the description. Okay, once you've selected that, select uh, click OK, uh, open. Okay, there's the ISO, click open, OK. Okay, next we've got audio, leave that, network's fine, leave that on that. Serial port's fine, USB, you can import uh, um, a USB because it won't come with wireless. So I'll use my wireless um, interface card. I'll inject that into the um, VirtualBox's installation. <coughs> okay, next off, click Start. Okay, the installation process will boot up and, and, and start to install Kali. Okay, so we'll be selecting um, Kali. Uh, we'll be selecting um, Install at the very bottom. Kali Linux is based um, on Linux for penetration testing, so select English, select the country that you live in. Okay, now select the um, keyboard type that you'll be using. I, I live in Australia, so I'll be using the QWERTY keyboard, which is English. English or US. Okay, now select OK. That'll start the installation process. Okay, in some section of the, of the installation, I'll be fast forwarding to uh, minimize vi uh, video time. Okay, in then section, just pause the video. I won't skip any steps. So um, you'll be able to pause the video and let your system catch up to wherever it needs to catch up to. Why you'd want to install Kali Linux into a um, virtual box, you might ask. Well, the answer to that might be um, penetration testing or um, or um, many other features and functions such as um, networking and um, shared shared um, files and folders between Linux and and workstations. Okay, so the installation process is continuing. Okay, this takes about 45 minutes to install, as as does any installation of an ISO um, operating system, or any operating system. It doesn't have to be an ISO. Okay, so we'll be selecting um, wireless wireless LAN here, since I use a wireless LAN interface card. So, um, or if you use Ethernet, we'll be selecting. You could select Etho. Okay, so now it's installing IPv6 auto configuration. Okay, again, pause if you need to. Okay, so now enter the um, the host name for the for the Kali box for um, network 
network awareness okay so I'll be calling it Cali box you can call it whatever you like it's just the name of the computer that's identified upon the network using the Ethernet port or the wireless LAN port if you've got a wireless interface uh, attached Okay, donate domain name you don't need to, to do anything with this way if you can if you can if you got a, a domain of your own click continue can you enter a root password this is required for system um, sudo commands okay click next re-enter the password click continue okay setting up the network UTC time with the server with um, uh, GMT okay now select the, the state or country uh, state that you live in if you live in America you select one of your states or any other country in the world select OK Okay, so now we'll be using um, entire disk and set up as LVM, which is Logical Volume Manager, but we'll be using the guided guide installation. Select the um, slack space that we uh, attached to the um, allocation for for the hard drive space. Now select all files in one partition recommended for all new users. Select that. Okay, finish partitioning. Yeah, this won't take long. Uh, right changes to disk, disk, select yes on the left by using the left arrow and the enter key. Okay, just pause if you need to. I've fast forwarded through the steps or the installation steps on the progress bars. So that it minimizes sister, uh, minimizes my um, video time and capacity of the size of the videos, but um, I haven't skipped any steps, so keep keep following along. Soon you'll have window, uh, you'll have um, Kali installed in your virtual box on your host operating system. Okay, use a network mirror. Uh, no, HTTP proxy. Just leave that if unless you use a proxy. Scanning the mirrors. This is the eighth or ninth installation in my um, virtualization playlist. Um, next will be Windows 10 beta, and after that will be Android and a few other um, Linux-based operating systems, as well as Ubuntu and some Debian, as well as some Solaris, to fill up my playlist. So I'll have all operating systems pretty much available, all the best ones anyway, with um, detailed tutorials on in the installation process. Okay, it's installing the grub, getting all the packages, setting up the system. If you have any suggestions, questions or comments, leave them in the in the um, section for comments. Hit the subscribe button while you're doing this. Install the grub on the bootloader master boot record, yes. Click yes and hit enter.
Okay, it's installing the dev SDA, running the update for the grub, and the, and the MBR, which is master boot record, disabling um, net in CD in sources list. Okay, so it's doing all the basic installation, setting all the device drivers for your um, hardware, setting all the components um, in the allocation tables, doing all the basic system setup. Okay, continue, hit enter. That's installation complete. Okay, now we have to uninstall, un, 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 uh, unmount the um, unmount the ISO so that it boots into the I, into the wind into the um, Linux um, operating system rather than re trying to install. hit that subscribe button now while you're installing that all helps to promote the channel Once Cal is installed, in the next upcoming videos, I'll be doing um, penetration testing and wireless um, WPA2 and WPA and, and WEP encryption um, algorithm um, cracking with um, wireless networks using tools such as AirCrack and um, a couple of other ones. So they'll be in the tutorials in the upcoming weeks. So best get to uh, I, I get a feel for Kali Linux by following my tutorials. Okay, it's rebooting. The grub's loading. Okay, we hit enter. It's decompressing and Windows uh, Linux Kali. Sorry, I keep saying Windows. I've installed a couple today, so um, Linux Kali is uh, booting up now. suggestions for my channel please just give me leave a comment or send a private YouTube message if you don't know how to send a private YouTube me YouTube message I've um, done a tutorial on that as well okay so now root it will be the user because we're going for sudo okay enter the password that we created earlier Click OK to log in. Okay, Kelly is now installed on your system. Congratulations. Now you better learn how to hack. White hat, of course.
So I'll be doing guest box installation to uh, addition uh, to um, give it the full screen it, as well as um, setting icon customization from the host desktop to direct boot the guest box Kali as well as um, setting snapshot restore point within the virtual disk manager the end of the video so stay tuned we're not over yet but we're close Okay, to, to um, to, <coughs> excuse me, to create a snapshot, go back to your virtual box manager, go up to the um, go to the virtual machine where you just created, go to the snapshot in the top right hand corner, um, enter a name for the snapshot and, and a description, then click OK. This is creating a restore point um, snapshot for rollback purposes in case you get updates or something or you make a mistake with something and need to restore your system or your virtual system. Okay, I'll be shutting down now. Okay, and after this, I'll be showing you how to customize an icon from the downloaded link that I have in the description that you can add to a to a direct boot for your host operating system. So we go to right click there, and we go down to the bottom, um, hit hit create desktop shortcut, go to properties. Okay, now select the location in browse, find the dis the downloaded icon that I've just um, uh, uh, allocated, or make one yourself. Okay, I'm Hack Mods. Thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And, uh, as always, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope it helped.